Hello everyone, in this video I'll be talking about how to write the discussion session of your research writing or your research report. As mentioned by Gray, if you don't have a proper discussion, your whole research paper is like a novel without ending. It's, it's not complete, so you need to make sure that your discussion is properly written and people really appreciate what you have done throughout the whole research. So what is the discussion session actually? It's like um, a place where we talk about what we have found out in the previous part, which is the results or the finding part. So if you have done something in the result or findings, this is where you need to discuss. Some people combine findings and discussion, which is not really advisable. It's good to split these two parts. You report your findings as it is, report your result first, and then you do your discussion. In Malay, of course, we call it perbincangan. Uh, as the word suggests, discussion, you cannot just report whatever you have reported in the findings. You need to do a bit of discussion or argument by comparing it with previous studies in alignment with your research objective. So how to write the discussion section? Um, easy, you just have to split into three parts within your discussion section. Number one is statement of major findings. You have to write a statement of what you have found out in the previous section where you talk about the findings and then you do some comparison with the relevant literature or previous findings from you know other papers or other research done hopefully the recent ones and when you do this comparison you don't just simply do it you have to report what was done before and what you have found out and what are the relationship in terms of the similarity and also the differences you have to talk about that in detail a bit then in the last part you recap the study significance or contribution so based on what you have discussed just now you highlight what is the strength or the contribution or significance of your uh, study or your findings right okay this is a sample of statement of findings in the previous section you report your findings already right you have report everything now in this part you don't have to go into detail you just kind of summarize what you have done like for example you did a survey on 200 students and this what uh, the and these are the uh, significant findings, right? Once this is done, hopefully when you do this part, try to match it with your uh, objective. Match means if your first objective is A, you try to report what you found in it for A. If your research objective is B, report what you found out for B in general. Once you have done that, then you do the comparison. This is one example where you compare with previous studies. You mention first what you have found out and then you compare with what other people have found out and do that kind of um, comparison, okay? This is also a comparison. So after you have done the comparison, you do a recap of the significance. You can, you can take some significance from what you have reported earlier, but highlight the important part based on your findings. This is how you write your discussion. It's not just talking about your findings again. It's trying to be more critical by comparing it with other studies. And how many studies? Usually for one finding, you try to compare with at least two or three findings, the similarity and differences, if possible. And when you do this, you don't just say this study is similar to another study. You have to also tell us what is found in that study and what is so different about yours. Uh, during the uh, comparison, you can also talk about the limitation or the problems that you face. For example, in that study, uh, it was done in a more control group. And in your case, you didn't control it. That's why your findings is a bit different. So this is, kind, this is the kind of discussion that we want in your discussion session. Okay, hopefully... Uh, this quick guide will be able to help you to write a better discussion, especially this three component of discussion. Try to follow this flow of writing your discussion section. Alright, that's all for this video. Hopefully it helps you to write a better discussion for your research report.